It's time now for some real education. We put the, the new year behind us a little bit ago, but it's never a bad time with all of our breaks and holiday festivities. Stop and think for a little bit about what New Year is and uh, that famous song, Old Lang Syne by Robert Burns. A lot of people don't know much about it. A lot of people don't even know what the words mean. Everybody wants to sing it at the holiday. Everybody recognizes that it is a uh, hallmark song. I mean, Christmas has got like 8,763 songs for it. New Year's, as far as I can tell, has one. So it might be, not be a bad to do, dive into a little bit about what this is all about. So Robert Burns, the Scotsman, the, the uh, great Scot poet, in 1788, he compiled this from a number of folk sources. And you can see a picture there of our man Burns. Burns, as the Scots would call him. Uh, Old Lang Syne is traditionally sung to bid farewell to the old year at the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve. It is often heard at funerals also graduations and farewell or ending occasions, valedictories, for instance, many branches of the Scouts, and what we know today as the Boy Scouts and other scouting movements, use this song to close out jamborees and other functions. The text is a Scots language poem written by Burns himself in 1788, but based on much older Scottish folk songs. In 1799, it was set to the traditional to tune the music we have today, and it has since become a standard. The poem's Scots title may be translated into modern English as uh, Old Long Since, and if that's too poetic, less literally Long Long Ago, or Days Gone By, or Times Long Past, or Old Times. Consequently, for Old Lang Syne, as it appears in the first line of the chorus, it might loosely be translated for the sake of old times. In fact, one famous Scot, Matthew Fitt, actually took the phrase in the days of old Lang, Lang Syne as the equivalent of once upon a time. And his, in his version of Scottish fairy tales, rather than beginning with once upon a time, he begins in old Lang Syne. And so it's about old friends and old relationships that at the end of the year we're thinking about or we're beginning to renew for a new year. And another thing we want to do is before we move is let's show you the actual lyrics because that particularly the last verse people don't recognize. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot in these days of Old Lang Syne. And then you get the chorus. For Old Lang Syne, my dear, for Old Lang Syne, we'll drink, drink a cup of kindness yet for the days of Old Lang Syne. And look at that fourth stanza that people don't quite know. We too have paddled in the stream from morning sun till night. The seas between us lord and swell since the days of Old Lang Syne. So there's a lot of uh, great Scottish lore and history and odd poetry uh, behind uh, this wonderful little poem. And it's, it's the uh, Scots contribution to global celebrating the name of the new year.